is a talented star of stage and screen who we all remember from such films as Witness, The Accused, and whatever, Top Gun. Please welcome <laughs> Kelly McGillis. How are you? Good. I loved you in Witness. Thank you. What a great movie that was. Thanks. I really, that scene where they lift the barn up was so beautifully shot. Yeah, it's really, they did it in one day. They it's did. It's really absolutely amazing how everybody in the community just pitches in. It's really wonderful. And you're a New Yorker, right? Well, no, actually, I was born in California, lived here for 11 years, have been living in Florida for five years and now am in Washington, D.C. Wow, you go all around. <laughs> Yeah, um, well, and we sailed for two years on a boat. We sailed across the Atlantic with our two little kids. Are you kidding me? No. I'm so <laughs> jealous of you. Why? <laughs> well, that's a great thing to do. A lot of people wouldn't go take two years off to do that, but that's a... Well, it was fun. Um, unfortunately, my youngest daughter will probably never remember it, and I don't think the eldest one actually will either, but... We, um, the best thing we got to do was stop the boat in the mid-Atlantic and go swimming, and so the four-year-old thought, this is the most fun I've had in weeks being at sea. And I put a life jacket on her and a lifeline and threw her off the back of the boat. And she was playing and playing. And the water in mid-Atlantic is so clear. Really? You can see about 45 feet. And the minute you stop a boat, it's the only thing that has shadow for millions of miles around. So all these fish come under the boat. And you can see them all swimming around. And she's swimming around. And I'm thinking Jaws the whole time. I'm yeah. thinking if there are little fish, there are big fish somewhere <laughs> close by. So I said, Kelsey, you have to get out of the water now. She says, no, this is the most fun I've had in weeks. I said, you got to get out now. And I just yanked her up by the lifeline. <laughs> and she's dangling, screaming, no, I want to go back in. But, um, <laughs> But it was fun. They had a good time because we got to, what was that? I have no idea. It's live TV today, Kelly. Wow. We're totally, the water spilt. We don't know what we're doing. <laughs> now, um, did, you, did you go to live with the Amish people during Witness? Did you figure, did you, I mean, research it? Yeah, I, um, I was down there for a month, and I had to learn how to talk like they do. And, um, and I got to live with an Amish widow and her seven kids. It was a real experience for me being a city kid, living in cities all my life. Um, I never really got to work on a farm before. It was cute. I was left alone um, one day while Mary went to go sew for the hospital with a 13-year-old boy. And he's kind of looking around, and he looks really sheepishly at me. He says, you want to go see the rabbit hutch? And I said, well, OK. So he puts two rabbits together, and they start doing what rabbits do. And uh, <laughs> he sat back, and he said, you do that with your boyfriend? <laughs> Well, you know, Henra, I don't think we should be having this conversation. Maybe you should ask your mother. And uh, after a while, he kind of takes the rabbits apart, and he's sitting there, and he just stares at me. They have a very open way of looking at you. Very, they have no guise whatsoever. He just looks at me and says, I hear girls go into heat once a month. Is that true? <laughs> and I said, I don't think we should have this conversation at all. I'm going to go find something else to do. <laughs> you see, that's why kids need to watch TV. Well, I guess. Because if he had been watching TV, he'd know all about the Tampax commercial. He wouldn't have to ask you that, you know? I think that's what we need to do, more TV for our kids. Now, you're doing uh, Morning Becomes Electra, which is a play that I love. Eugene O'Neill's. Where are you yes. doing this play? Um, at the Shakespeare Theater at the Landsberg in Washington, D.C. Now through? Uh, June 15th. It's the first time it's been done, I know, in D.C. since it was the original production. I think it's 40 years ago. And this is a much condensed version. It's only three and a half hours as opposed to six and a half hours. Right. That's very exhausting for the actors, I, I assume. Um, I actually find the play very energizing, to tell you the truth. I don't know what it is about my sick personality to get energy from killing off my entire family, but um, I actually find it not so taxing. Yeah. You don't seem sick at all. You seem very normal. <laughs> I think you're the most normal guest we've had. Well, I, oh, but I have a present for you. You do? I do. First off, um, my husband will kill me if I don't give you a Kelly's Caribbean Bar and Grill t-shirt from Key West. There you is go. Is this his bar? This is our bar. We own a bar and restaurant in Key West. You own a bar um, and a restaurant, and you went sailing for two years? Yeah, and um, we have Kelly, a micro Kelly, we could brewery. definitely be friends, you and See, <laughs> we I. We brew know. our own beer. You brew your own beer? The ales. There you go. Give me a high five so. on the brewing the old beer thing, which I'm totally into. All right. And now, my special gift to you. 
I know you're wild about a guy named Tom, and um, I've had this since I made the film. I somehow found this in my luggage. I don't know how. But this is uh, Tom Cruise's hat from the movie. It says Tom Cruise, and it says Maverick in it. But you have to swear to me. Yes. That swear, I'll swear anything. What? You never give this away for an auction item. You have to keep it in your possession. Otherwise, you give it back to me. Like you even <laughs> have to say that? for items at celebrity auctions, mm -hmm. and so there you go. But that's a gift from Fred and I to you. Thank you, Kelly. You're welcome. <laughs> now, you did a little film with my no, Tommy. You have to smell it, though. That's the best thing. I was gonna, no. but I thought people would think I was sick. I swear I was no. gonna, but I thought they were no, gonna get me letters. You're sick. Why don't you <laughs> shut up about your no, fish within you? It's so idiot. old, it doesn't smell like anything. But normally, if you were that obsessed, you'd go, <laughs> Kelly, don't think I didn't think of it, all right? And I saw the sweat mark and I thought, that's my Tommy sweat. <laughs> Do you know that I was down in my home in Miami this weekend and I plunged into my machines and there was a message from him that was like three months old. The last time I was there, he called to see like, you know, how, how I was doing or whatever. And I didn't even know for three months. Can you imagine <laughs> Kelly McGillis? The torture of it. When, and it, he didn't I even hope say, he saved that tape though. Again, what are you smoking crack? Of course I did! <laughs> <laughs> you would have erased it? Well, by accident. I would have. By just accident. Been... Oh, okay, fine. Now, when you worked with him, was it was it difficult to concentrate? No. No. <laughs> no, he's not. I mean, he's a nice guy, but he's not really my type. I hate to say that, but I mean, he's a really nice guy. He's not your I... type. No. Why? What, what's what's wrong about him? Nothing's wrong with him. I think he's a gorgeous guy. No, but... I mean, just as opposed to your type standards. What? Well. Is he deficient in any area? No. I tend to like, like guys who are a little bit older than I am and also who um, are kind of more beach oriented, you know? Like He's not beachy, my Tommy? <laughs> um, not in my limited experience with him, no. Did you ever take him to the beach? <laughs> no, I didn't. We didn't socialize much during you that You didn't movie, socialize no. much, really? I hung out with most of the other guys. I mean, you know, he was a big movie star and we were nobody. It was you? A, Kelly McGillis? Yeah, well, I mean, basically, I'd only done one movie before that. It was a big movie. It was a big movie. That makes you a movie star. Well, I don't know. <laughs> it's a relative term. Do you feel like a movie know. star? No, 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 I, no, I don't, no. It doesn't seem like you feel like a movie star. No, I, I Which mostly is a good feel thing. like a mom. I mean, that's, yeah, that's mostly what I am. Yeah, and you got two girls. I have two little Kelsey girls. Kelsey and what's the other way? Sonora. Sonora. And how old are they now? Uh, Kelsey will be seven next week, and Sonora just turned four. And are they going to get to come see you perform in the play? Well, yeah, they usually come see all the plays that I'm in. Sonora, I don't know, though. This one's kind of gruesome because I have to kill everybody. Yeah. And they've, they've only seen me do comedies there and not really have to kill people. I don't do it physically, but, you know, I am responsible for it. And I don't know if I want them to think that mommy might do them in one night. <laughs> That's right. So oh, maybe they should see. Mommy's mad. Stay away. But all of you people should. It's in Washington, D.C. Morning Becomes Electra, Eugene O'Neill's play. Kelly McGillis, you're a delight. Oh, well, thank you very much. Very nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Thank you for my hat. You're welcome. I hope you like it. I do. We'll be right back. My mom's a star winner after this.